How's it going guys? What I wanted to do in this video is actually go back and revisit some videos that I did years ago on my channel and kind of as an introduction for some of you guys out there that may be new in uh, building automation and what we're going to begin with is a discussion of the VMA controllers. Uh, the VMA controllers are basically the zone controllers for your temperature. Uh, they are basically the last component involved in a building automation system for controlling heat within a space. Uh, it is a controller that is basically, uh, depending on the controller type, it can do a couple of functions. One is it can uh, serve as actuator for a damper and this is just kind of a graphical overview this particular VMA that we're looking at here is a single duct VMA controller uh, now I have got some other videos on single duct versus dual duct and we're actually going to be looking at a dual duct VMA uh, momentarily now basically for starters uh, you know, this is what we're going to start with. I mean, this particular VMA box or VAV box, the VAV box would consist of the whole thing, including the controller. Now, the VAV is supplied air by the air handler. Now, there, are, there are limitations on what the VAV can do as far as conditioning air. Typically, they will uh, only be able to reheat air. Uh, they typically do not all have uh, cooling on board. I know that that is a possibility for some, though. I mean, uh, uh, there's so many features out there that can be added to these systems. But typically what you will see is something similar to this. You will have a VAV box above the ceiling somewhere connected to a thermostat uh, for reading zone temperature. There will be a controller similar to this that will actually be connected to a damper and there again the controller could be mounted separately uh, it's just this particular type of VMA has an integrated actuator that will control the damper. Now what the damper does is control the airflow into the space depending on what the amount of airflow is the set points for that uh, you know, then that's going to go back to engineering as far as what uh, amount of CFM is required to heat and cool the space. Uh, the VMA controller will read the airflow in the space and then it will adjust the damper accordingly to match the set point within the system. Another part of the VAV box this one in particular is uh, it does have a reheat coil uh, this is a hot water reheat coil now you can have electric reheat coils as well and what it will do is that if the space temp needs heating the air supplied to the VAV is typically cooler and then it will be reheated for the purposes of heating uh, of course in warmer weather when you have humi uh, humidity uh, what you want to do in the air handler is try to dehumidify that air. You want to squeeze as much of that moisture out of that air as possible for humidity control. And then once it gets to a VAV, the VAV will then reheat that air, which basically changes the dew point level, uh, you know, brings it above dew point, and you don't get condensation and get the moisture within your building. But guys, that's another video, another time. I've got an article about it on my website at systemcontroltech.net if you want to go check that out. I'll try to link that below. But guys, a VMA controller is just a mini PLC, a mini computer. Once you tell it to occupy, for instance, it will then open up and try to control the room to space temperature set points. Uh, it will modulate the airflow on the damper as well as modulate the reheat valve to uh, control space temperature. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a single duct VMA or single duct VAV. Uh, another type is, of course, the dual duct VAV. Here is an example of a dual duct VMA, VAV system. 
typically what you would have is one VMA controller paired with an actuator. You can have the controller separate and then just have two separate actuators as well. And from a dual duct air handler, you're actually going to have one side of the air supplied to this box is going to be for heating and the other side will be supplied with cool air and depending on the needs of the room it will open the damper for uh, to supply the needs if it's needing to cool it will open up the cold deck damper if it is calling for heating it will close the cold deck and then open the hot deck damper we do have a discharge temperature sensor and this is very handy especially when trying to troubleshoot on what's going on within a particular space. This particular box is a fan powered VAV and what we have here is a supply fan that uh, of course you've got a filter and everything. This supply fan will typically be used for heating whenever the space is needed uh, whenever it needs to warm up instead of using air from the air handler it will actually bring on uh, the fan controlled by the VMA controller it will run it in conjunction with the reheat to heat the space now one advantage of this type of a system is when you are trying to maintain an unoccupied set point uh, you can actually keep your air handler down and allow the fan powered VAV to run to an unoccupied set point when the space is not being used in the event that it needs heating. So there are a lot of uh, various ways you can use a VMA controller. Uh, there's a lot of functionality in them. You can use them to control lights, lighting relays, things like that. Uh, we use them in some places to run exhaust fans as well just depending on the location of the particular device so as I mentioned there's a lot that you can do here's just a few photos of some of the different ones there's different manufacturers out there that make these but they're all essentially the same uh, as far as their function it just really depends on the brand that you go with now the VAVs themselves are uh, typically you can get them with either the controller already mounted or you can sometimes get them where you need to uh, mount the particular VMA controller it just really depends on your organization uh, but the VAV uh, the VMA controller is typically the last device in the overall uh, HVAC temperature control of a space and guys this is just a brief overview for those of you all who may be new in the field uh, that's what this video is intended for uh, if you have any questions leave those down in the comments below and I'll try to get through as many of those as I can also be sure to go over to my channel check out the rest of the videos on my channel I've got playlists on various different types of systems and things like that that may be helpful to you check out all of the links down in the description below be sure to visit my website at systemcontroltech.net thanks for watching and we will see you next time